Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the um, renewable energy systems. Okay, and uh, myself, Varna Rajan, working as an assistant professor in the department of electrical and electronics engineering. And uh, so, renewable energy systems. Uh, first of all, we should know what is mean by renewable energy systems. The energy that we can renew continuously. Renew in the sense uh, we are get, we will be getting continuously. The the this won't exhaust. Uh, such type of energy we call it as renewable energy systems and uh, from the picture itself we can able to understand that uh, uh, this renewable energy system majorly focuses on uh, solar energy then biomass then uh, um, geothermal then hydro the hydro in again hydro there are uh, many classifications and wind energy okay so what is the objective? Okay, the objective is to impart the knowledge and uh, create awareness about the radio energy systems and uh, adequate input to the issues of uh, Fastness of renewable energy because renewable energy will not be uh, obtained very easily. Okay, there are many uh, challenges in the renewable energy harvesting. And uh, next, we are going to discuss about the role of renewable energy systems. The role of renewable energy systems. And so, what will be outcome? Outcome will be the creating awareness about the renewable energy uh, sources and the technologies that are to be utilized in the issues of the harness so there is a uh, challenges so, and the current technologies that we are utilizing uh, finally uh, applications okay, what are the applications we should use this energy harvested and uh, from the basic uh, biomass we are going to study and uh, solar energy this is the syllabus. Okay, this is the syllabus. First energy first unit discusses about the renewable energy sources, what are renewable energy sources available and uh, just an introduction. How about the renewable energy production in India and comparing with the international uh, scenarios and the second one is the wind energy. Wind energy is we are going to discuss about the wind power plant. Okay, WPP is wind power plant. And next we are going to discuss about the solar PV and uh, uh, thermal systems. Okay, solar from the sun we are getting both uh, heat energy as well as the light energy. Okay, so this uh, heat energy converts converted into electrical using this uh, thermal system and light energy is converted into electrical using the uh, solar PV technology. Next one is biomass, okay, types of biomass power plants and uh, how, this power, how this biomass is obtained and in this unit we are going to study about the geothermal also. Geothermal. And finally, in the fifth unit we are studying, we are going to study about the tidal energy. Tidal energy, what are different types of tidal energy? And the next ocean energy, there is OTE, CEG, ocean thermal energy conversion. And uh, hydrogen energy, hydrogen is also another source of energy that is very, very important. There is a future energy. And uh, fuel cells. Okay. And finally, we are going to discuss about the uh, energy storage system and hybrid uh, system. Okay. So, what are the topics we are going to discuss in Unit 1? Okay, in the Unit 1, we are going to discuss about uh, what are the consequences of the fossil fuel and the importance of the renewable energy sources. 
that is that this is an introduction alone then what are the sustainable design okay the, there are many designs all the designs will not uh, work properly so there will be a specific uh, system that will work properly then uh, next one is will be the uh, types of types of uh, renewable energy resources limitations and finally renewable energy sources scenario in india as well as uh, internationally so what is meant by fossil fuels okay fossil fuels are the fuel that is uh, generated can also be called as generated or uh, produced yes correctly we can say is produced okay it is being produced uh, by the sedimentation of uh, the plants and animals uh, for a very long years okay say for millions of years okay thousands of years okay so these are called as fossil fuels okay and uh, these fossil fuels are rock okay solid structures there is uh, some examples are coal lignite and uh, it is also gases in states that is methane and uh, some uh, gases that are useful and the uh, next one is uh, it is also in liquid state we all very well know about the liquid state of the fossil fuels that is the petroleum products diesel petrol kerosene everything comes under this liquid sources okay what it will, what is the role of this uh, the role of this is it will uh, burn itself okay, it will burn itself okay and produce the energy okay, it will burn itself and produce the power energy okay which is uh, mainly heat energy so using this heat energy we can convert uh, this heat energy into uh, uh electrical energy using turbines okay so why electrical energy is prepared okay we can use heat directly right why electrical energy is prepared electrical energy is clean okay it is very clean there won't be any pollution okay it is very easy to transport the power it is very easy to transport the power and that is why maximum all the energy is the will be converted into electrical energy and uh, what is the effect of this uh, fossil fuel the effect of the fossil fuel is global warming pollutions global warming pollutions so these are the very uh, important factor so what is this global warming and uh, pollution leads global warming and pollution leads to the rising temperature of the earth okay global warming and uh, pollution leads to obviously both are leading to the same uh, disaster that is uh, living beings cannot survive Okay, that is a very important point to be considered and uh, just a moment okay this uh, environmental consequences we will see in the next class thank you